My name's Kenneth Opal, and my book is Half Brother. Okay, so the first question comes from Kayla at Our Lady of Lourdes, and the question is, how did you come up with the character of Ben? Ben. Well, Ben is sort of a strange composite of me, or at least how I remember bits of myself from the 1970s. And as usual with my character, is he's mostly a product of my imagination. I wanted a kid who'd been an only child his whole life. Um, until his parents bring home this baby chimpanzee and it totally turns his life upside down. Um, he suddenly has a little brother who's, who's not the typical little brother. Um, and he suddenly sees his parents in a new light. I just thought it was interesting to imagine a story from the point of view of a kid who suddenly has this very odd scientific experiment going on in his house. So I borrowed things from my own childhood. Um, it was fun to sort of populate the story with 70s images and music and clothing and, and some of the things I remembered. And it's set in a, in a place where I grew up, Victoria, BC. So all that helped uh, give Ben a, a sort of a world and a, and a personality. Great. Um, and the second question comes from Kirsten at Holy Family. And the question is, what inspired you to write Half Brother? Uh, well, the inspiration for the book is, is two real scientific experiments that were done in the 1970s. Uh, two chimps, one called Nim and the other called Washo who were taken from infancy from their mothers and raised in human families um, as humans. So the chimps actually thought they were human beings. They were dressed like humans and fed like humans and you know, had siblings and surrogate parents uh, like human children. And as they were being taught sign language, they really identified themselves as human beings. And Nim was taught for a couple of years and Washa was taught for a lot longer and they did learn sign language. Uh, but in Nim's case, when the experiment ended, after a couple of years, he was, uh, he was stripped of his human identity and his clothing and, and all the people he'd, he'd grown up with and, 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 and traded to another institution. So it's a very sad story, um, and it stayed with me for a long time. Um, and I just, it, it must have, you know, uh, meant a lot to me because I, I thought that's an amazing story to tell. Again, from the point of view of a kid who witnesses this happening in his own house with his parents as the scientific researchers.